비디오 멀쳤어 행거리 Just one moment, all right? Let me share it on my uh, profile first. <laughs> share. And... Oh, crap. I can't share it on my end. Okay. Alright, so no problem. Uh, I wanted to actually share it on uh, share it on my <laughs> profile. So today we have a special version of the Joby Not You Challenge just because we are on the uh, MCO movement restricted control or something like that, right? Order. Uh, so you're basically in a house, uh? <laughs> right? So um, welcome to the Joby Not You Challenge. Uh, today I'm doing it alone without uh, Joseph and Debbie, right? Last week, uh, Joseph was doing it. Now, uh, just a brief for those who are not aware of the Not You Challenge. Basically, the Not You Challenge is where uh, we try and pair Joby peanut butter with every right. single food combination that you can think of, right? Uh, and we're going to try different, different ones. Um, to be more, a little bit more adventurous than just break, okay? So, um, today itself, uh, what we're going to do is, because you have lockdown, so typically what you do, uh, there's a reason I stand next to a fridge, you know? So typically, you just close and open the fridge, right? And there's a meme that's running out on Facebook right now that the, <laughs> uh, the result of staying at home for too long and the, the, the fridge door just get spoiled uh -huh. like this right basically so okay uh so what 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 do we have at home today uh, usually um i just had my dinner and luckily i, I left some food because i know the night you challenge is going to come right now right and uh, i have some leftover food here that i have to finish with uh the joby night you challenge today but let's see what uh they are prepared for me, yeah. yeah. So, oh yeah, I forgot. For those who are logging in right now and viewing, right, please comment, okay? Don't be so quiet, okay? And share it, please. Uh, I think a lot of people are staying at home right now and they don't have anything to do, right? Share the joy of Jovi and crazy food pairings with your friends. Uh, for those who have not looked at it before, we tried durian, uh, scorpion. Okay, let's see. Uh, Oh, uh, this is not a regular sausage, <laughs> alright? I'm just going to put this right here. And we have, what? Well, uh, okay, this is, what was this camera? Um, Sai Hua. Oh, Sai Hua. Uh, some Thai sausage, okay? You can zoom in a little bit for them to see, yeah. Thai, Thai sausage. So, the difference between this sausage and, uh, I guess, typical sausages is that they've got like chili, herbs and spices, you can see all these uh, herbs inside, right? Okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to cut this off a little bit so that you can see how is it different from the rest of the usual uh, sausage, right? Clearly a lot of herbs and spices. This is Thai sausage, okay? So I'm, I'm going to intend to do a, a Thai sausage hot dog with peanut butter. <laughs> oh, this is so weird, all right? Okay, so let's. Okay, I'm just gonna put the sausage here, like this. And what? instead of uh, ketchup and chili, we're gonna have peanut butter. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take the creamy peanut butter. We've got our classic creamy Joey peanut butter here. Okay, 
and we're just gonna take a healthy dip out of it. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna go so fat on this at home. I'm sure everyone else is gonna be fat as well. See this? Jesus. Right. If no one has tried a hot dog with uh, peanut butter, this is the time to do so. And I'm putting my taste bud <laughs> for your viewing pleasure. Okay? Alright, Thai sausage hot dog with uh, creamy classic Joby peanut butter. Okay, let's see this. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm not getting enough of the peanut butter. Let me take the second bite. Just <laughs> <laughs> day, I only have chicken breast at home. Mm. I think uh, it's a little bit too dry. Um, the Thai sausage is it's very very dry in its nature because there's a lot of herb that uh, sort of soaks up the moisture. And when you put peanut butter in, uh, it makes it even more dry. I think out oh, one out of ten, I'm just gonna give it like a six. <laughs> not, not very tasty actually. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend Thai sausage with uh, peanut butter. No, no, no. Okay. Now um, let's get to the next one since it's already on the plate. Uh, this is one of Debbie's favorite. I'm not sure if we did it before, but uh, this is quite a healthy um, combination where you basically just dip celery with uh, peanut butter. So I'm gonna try uh, dipping it into the uh, chunky, since it's healthy, right? So we've got the chunky pure uh, Joby peanut butter. No sugar, no salt, no preservatives as well, right? Let's see. I think this is not bad because I saw Debbie um, taking a picture of this before. Okay, I'm just gonna take a few bits of it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is celery. All right. Mm. Not bad. Very healthy. I like it. And. Uh, like Debbie's usual dish. Okay, let's have a look. So, oh my god, yes! Healthy, healthy, healthy. Uh, yeah, it's healthy. I, I agree. Has anyone in the audience actually tried celery peanut butter? You know, do a shout out out there if you if you tried it before. Okay. So, yeah, this is this is kind of good. Uh, not really tasty per se. So, healthiness level one to ten. Ten, but. Tastiness level with peanut butter. Uh, I think I prefer it classic chunky, not the pure one. But obviously it's healthy with the pure one, right? Okay. We're done with that. Now, uh, since I don't have anything here, and then we're talking about uh, refrigerator, let, let me dig my refrigerator for, uh, we've got about, let's try and stick if we can do it 30 minutes and see what I can get out from my refrigerator. Okay, no, don't 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 follow me with the refrigerator. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, let's see what this. Uh, some meal prep that usually I do, and we've got like, oh okay, uh yeah not bad. Uh, bananas, cut bananas. Have you tried this before? I totally forget it. Do a fancy name for the dish. Jeez, Joseph. Flying, flying crescent moon. <laughs> flying crescent moon on what? Flying crescent moon nut. Sorry, I'm not as creative as you when it comes to copywriting, okay? Uh, we will try classic chunky, right? Uh, with uh, banana here, okay? So today quite a lot of healthy stuff, right? Don't worry. 
the fridge always has some uh, uh, snacks, right? Let, 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 let the snacks come. Oh, this is a new, new chunky one. All right, uh, maybe we can show you. For those who have not actually tried, uh, the ones that if you open a new jar, you can see this healthy layer of oil on top of it, yeah? Okay, this is, this is the way it's supposed to be, this natural peanut oil, no added ones, right? And what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna take a uh, knife to, to really stir it up. I'm just gonna mix it uh, for, with the banana, okay? Yep, all that natural goodness, and, and we're gonna s stir it all up here, yeah. All right, okay, and I think I'm just gonna take a healthy dose of it to uh, pour it out on the banana itself. Okay, good enough. Yeah. Mmm, mmm. So, I was taking this chunk tea in the bread oil. I agree, sometimes a little bit of uh, sugar makes your life better, right? Okay, uh, I'm just gonna use my hand here. I think this is gonna taste good. Mm. Oh, excellent. So the sweet peanut butter taste actually goes very well with the banana. I think a lot of people actually take uh, Make shakes, right? Put the banana, and then you blend it. Yeah, I think I've got a blender, but I'm not gonna blend it here right now, okay? Uh, okay, let's check out the comments right now. Chloe says that she eats uh, the banana and the Joby peanut butter every day. Nice, Chloe. You've got good taste. You share my good taste, actually. And uh, Lucas, maybe you can do a banana boat. Not, oh, good idea, Lucas. You know what? When we talk about ice cream, right? <laughs> I have a very sweet tooth. You call it right, Lucas. And your dream came true, huh? We've got ice cream here. Yeah, ice cream with uh, not banana. But since you talk about ice cream, I'm gonna bring ice cream. I think ice cream with. Uh, Peanut butter is going to be really good. Yeah. In fact, do you guys know actually that there is a uh, peanut butter gelato? I think uh, maybe inside scoop. And today, oh yeah, let's talk a little bit about um, you know the retail sector. We've been in communications lately and uh, I made a lot of good friends uh, during this lockdown time, you know. Uh, talking with some of the retail founders, the restaurateurs, the cafe owners. Uh, I was speaking to one which I didn't know they were actually using our peanut butter to do gelato. So I'm going to give them a shout out. Uh, it's called Whimsical Gelato. That they use Joby peanut butter to do a peanut butter gelato. Okay. So I'm going to do uh, ice cream here. Oh, yeah, I think. Uh, what was this? Uh, Joseph saying what? Peanut butter face <laughs> This is not a beauty channel, Joseph. Okay. So today you're not here, you don't get to uh, <laughs> bully me today. So uh, I've got a double Dutch Waltz ice cream here. Basically it's vanilla with chocolate syrup, uh, marshmallows, chocolate chips, and cashew nuts. Sounds good already by itself, right? And then I'm gonna add the uh, what do you call this? Oops. The uh, classic chunky one. I think this would be nice. Yeah. I'm gonna add this classic chunky one here right now. Oh, jeez. Look. Look at it, man. Oh. Look at the rich texture just flowing down. Excellent. Oh, you know, you know, at this point, I feel like uh, a little bit like Gordon Ramsay, you know? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have this slight thick ice cream sl sl slipping down in your throat, right? <laughs> okay, uh, not a bit too pretentious, I know, but uh, let's try this, uh, ice cream with peanut butter. Oh, it's like ice kacang. Very nice. Oh, I love it. This is, this is damn good. Mm. 
I think I'm gonna finish this. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, if you haven't tried ice cream with Joby classic chunky peanut butter, please do that. I'm gonna give this like 10 out of 10. The banana, I forgot to score it, but that's like 7 out of 10. This is 10 out of 10. Ice cream with uh, peanut butter. Oh gosh, this is heaven. Yeah. Mm -mm. Really nice. It's like Magnum. <laughs> so good. Mm. The crunchiness, the, the sweetness, excellent. And, and, and the savory, salty taste of peanut butter. Excellent. Okay. My god, I'm, I'm gonna be so fat after this, yeah. Let's see what, 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 what else we have. Um, maybe not so conventional, okay. I'm just gonna put this back here. Lucas, put the cherry, banana, strawberry into the ice cream. Maybe you're right, Lucas, but uh, I don't have strawberry. I don't have cherries right now, okay. I think the next one might be... Uh, Okay, let, let's try some weird kind of combination. Yeah. Um, oh gosh, let's look what, what mom has. Uh, what is this? Jeez. Okay, I'm just gonna put this all here. Camera woman, you have to come zoom in. This is. Ah, the masterpiece of what my mom does when she's bored at home, you know. Homemade kimchi, apparently. <laughs> uh, am I going to try kimchi with peanut butter? Okay, you know. We're going to try it. I'm just going to take a little bit, yeah. <laughs> okay, a little bit of uh, kimchi and peanut butter. Jeez. Kimchi. Freeze banana blended top with jo Joby peanut butter. Okay. You should do it for me, Joseph. Lucas, don't have evil thoughts, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna put this back. But... Okay. Ew. I think this combination is not going to be nice. Uh, yeah, basically kimchi. Come. It's creamy. Yeah, I think let's let's go for the creamy one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah, kimchi and uh. Classic creamy peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely disgusting. This I will not try and I will not recommend kimchi with peanut butter. Absolutely zero. Oh, do Joseph actually did kimchi uh, peanut butter before. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do this. Uh, let's see what we have. Huh? We're going to try as much as possible until, yeah, a couple of minutes more. But today, everybody seems a little bit quiet. Yeah? Why don't you put some comments down there, okay? Hmm. Okay, I think this, this will be good. So, we, we ate a lot of stuff just now. And... I think we need something to refresh ourselves. Uh. So, apple. Right? Healthy... Green apple tastes better, I think. Okay. Uh, did, did Debbie did this before? <laughs> did she? Oh, she did. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna do another version of it because this, this is at home, right? So this is like cooking with Joby CEO. Unfortunately, I don't have my stick and uh, uh, whatnot, uh, you know, today. 
Okay, uh, yeah, but really nice apple here. I'm just going to get a spoon of this absolutely beautiful classic chunky. Classic chunky is my favorite. Ah, come, come, come. Show them, show them. All right. See this? What's that like? That's fine. Okay. I'm going to apple. Peanut butter, blended peanut butter with apple. Kimchi batter versus durian versus stinky tofu. You, okay, Joseph, you're saying which one is worse or which one is better out of the, you know, kimchi, durian, and stinky tofu? Yeah, I'm gonna take the apple, yeah. This can go well with the, the ice cream just now. Mm. This is good, yeah. Much better than kimchi. Uh oh. I think the connection is not good. Okay. Hang on, yeah. Hold it, hold it, okay. Uh, are we back? Are we back? Oh no. Just a moment, everybody, because I'm not sure if the connection is playing around with the problems here. Do you get do you see the video? Okay, we're back. Sorry, uh, because of the connection. Oh, Debbie said you want to try it with wine. Did she see any wine here? Can I? No, no, no. But Joseph and Debbie need to approve us. Uh, if I can have wine, then I will try wine with peanut butter, okay? Okay, uh, meanwhile, let me see what else is in the fridge while I wait for... Uh, Debbie to reply and uh, Joseph to reply whether I can do wine with peanut butter, okay? <laughs> Let me get some tissue first. Joseph, Debbie, can I try wine with peanut butter? <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna ask them back here. Can Victor try wine with Okay, next up. Oh, see, I told you the fridge have a lot of snacks, right? Uh, we've got Belgian dark chocolate, 90% chocolate. Okay, this should this should go really well with uh, peanut butter. Sometimes you've got like chocolate peanut butter, correct? All right, what, what brand is this though? I have no idea. Okay, I try chocolate with peanut butter. Um, uh, uh. Joseph don't like to do wine. <laughs> Never mind. We've got dark chocolate. I'm still gonna go with classic chunky. Okay, yeah. And then we're just gonna dip it here. I think chocolate with peanut butter is like Kit Kat, you know, or. Uh, just no brainer. Okay, it's gonna just go well with it, right? Yeah, but this is dark chocolate, not milk chocolate. Eh? Mm. Not bad. I'll give it a eight out of ten, mainly because I don't like the bitterness, but not bad, not bad. I would like Joseph to create another version of a dark chocolate classic chunky peanut butter. Oh yeah, Samantha is saying this would be like Reese, you're correct. 
That's exactly what I was saying. But it's dark chocolate, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm pretty much done here. Um, my fridge is very limited actually. And unless I can find something else. <laughs> do we have something else? No, right? No. I'm not gonna do that, right? Mm. I think that's about it. So, do a drink version with Joby. You mean like chocolate drink with Joby? Smoothie? No, we're not going to blend now. What do you mean, Joseph? What, what kind of uh, drink version with Joby? What do you want me to mix it with? Okay. Um, so, for those who are watching at home, right, besides Joseph, Debbie, uh, if you've got any questions, you know, I'm going to take some time here, uh, you can interact with me, us, the Joby CEO, whatever questions you want. For those who don't know, actually, I actually came from a, a digital background. I studied computer science. You know? If you have computer science or digital questions to ask, fire away. Drink version with Joby. Okay, Joseph's not answering anymore. So, alright, I think we got it. And here? No? Uh, we meat. have... What, what, what else do we have? You want to drink what milk? Can do milk like meatloaf and push this one? Oh my god. They're yes. all trying to test me today. Okay, fine. I'm going to entertain Joseph specifically today. He says do a drink version. I think I'll do something that's... Uh, tasty, right? Since I like classic chunky so much, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do drinks with Joby, okay? I'm not going to take it out of a blender. I'm going to try just mixing it. Let's do it with milk, okay? So it's a little bit like smoothie Joby, uh, yeah. I think this could work. <coughs> we'll put a little bit of milk here. Just enough so that it's concentrated with Joby, right? And I'm gonna take a, a spoon of Joby. Yeah, show them. So basically, we're gonna take a spoon of Joby peanut butter. You can see all the nice chunkiness of it. I'm just gonna dole it all down here. And we're gonna mix it with milk. This is like. <laughs> Peanut butter Dutch lady meal. <laughs> You've got like strawberry meal, chocolate meal, right? Okay. Today we're gonna do a lot of stuff. Eh? Oh my gosh. So thick. Ew. Joseph, you and your idea, look. But of course, uh, you know, you got. I think if you blend it, then it's better. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna. Do Cool brands. You gotta blend it. <laughs> you can't. You can't just. You can't just put peanut butter and this. Okay. How can a, a coffee juice yogurt also get? Okay, I took milk, right? Well, I'm not gonna blend it. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Joseph asked me, how can a brick and mortar business survive this MCO? Well, depends on what brick and mortar. If you're in a food business or essential services, I think it's still okay, right? But if you're not, uh, if you've got business owners here that you cannot operate in essential, essential services, uh, what I recommend you, which we actually did in a video conference call yesterday, right, is you can actually partner with uh, essential services uh, company like us, right? So for example, we, we, we talked about this, you know, like gym, they can't do, uh, what do you call this, uh, gyms, right? There's a lot of gym owners, they can't open up today. But if they're in the business of making people fit, right, eat healthy and all this, they can actually collaborate with uh, food prep services, you know, and then do like a gym X food kind of combination, right? And then they can deliver it. They probably get a small percentage out of it. 
we can't do the business now, but uh, brand awareness is still there. So yeah, that answers uh, Joseph's question. Now in terms of, uh, Samantha has a question there, uh, how is the texture of milk and Joby? Ah, Samantha, please don't just put Joby in regular milk because the it's peanut butter is heavy. So it actually floats down, if you can see. <laughs> It floats down, so it's a little bit disgusting if you ask me. But if you blend it to be a smoothie, I think it's not too bad. Yeah. What? Please try the Algona Joby version. Oh, okay, I don't know how to do the Algona, okay? I, I will research it, maybe we can do it next next week. Right? Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually not a very big fan of milk. I used to uh, just drink Milo when I was a kid. but. But you know, after we grow up, you know it's important for your bones, healthy bones. That's where I got it at the end of the day. Okay, so wow, uh, we've actually gone through thirty minutes of this, and we still have about twenty uh, participants here. Excellent, I I am impressed. <laughs> but I thank you all for the uh, uh, for tuning in today. Now, very very important. Just follow uh, the instructions, right? Uh, stay at home. You've got the meme already. I think uh, Debbie has to do a sticker with the Joby, right? Stay at home, shaking. Right? Please do it, Debbie. So stay healthy, right? Uh, take care of your older parents and those who are of age, uh, you know, 50 and above. They, they are the highest risk right now. Uh, and yeah, stay safe everybody. I think we we're done here for day day. Thank you for sharing uh, and tuning in. If you like what we do, right, at Joby, and uh, if you want to see more of this, uh, please please let us know whether, uh, we've got the chance to do actually a single version, like uh, Joseph did it alone last week. Now I'm going to do it alone. Uh, you know, comment down below, tell us, do you like the group version more, where we have Debbie, Joseph, and me, or do you like the single version more as well, okay? Uh, I think that's about it for me, you know, please share it, it's, it's very important for a small business like us uh, with, uh, uh, I don't know, very fervent and loyal uh, customers like you all, we're really, really appreciative. Actually, without each and every one of you all just buying one uh, jar of peanut butter, you know, that keeps us alive, gives us uh, a revenue for, for for our employees, you know, and we, we thank you for that. Uh, I wouldn't have the opportunity to actually work with the Joby team or, or stand here in front of you, not because of each and every order that you all place. All right. So again, thank you very much. Uh, oh, MCO peanut butter. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before before we uh, turn live, while there's still about twelve people here, um, we are planning to come up with an MCO version of the peanut butter. Now, uh, because, you know, when, when we're in lockdown times, then we've got supply issues. A lot of uh, factories can't actually operate. And, you know, whether it's the packaging, the lid, the jar, it's a whole different ecosystem that comes together to get one single product out. So it's not only us, right? Uh, we want to hear your thoughts, right? We actually have a, a poll that we're running on our Facebook uh, page and also Instagram to ask if we've got an MCO version of the peanut butter, right? That we really slight change uh, instead of uh, perhaps glass jar, uh, we, we might use different containers, uh, the lid might be different just because the current supply chain can't give us the normal jars that we're uh, uh, accustomed to. If Let us know if you're okay with that. If you're okay with that, you know, we, we definitely listen to our customers, we'll, we'll go do that up. That ensures that we can still supply peanut butter to you at this very crucial time, even though uh, we have supply disruptions. Now, uh, but if you say, no, no I'm not going to get the MCO version, I, I love this, how this glass jar and lids are, and I'm going to stay with this, you know, just stay with this, uh, uh, then let us know as well. We value your feedback and then we will respond accordingly actually okay so okay thank you very much i won't take too much of your time have a good evening everyone good night